Hi guys, how are you guys doing? In this video, you guys will watch me create this. That's right, you'll watch me create this. <laughs> so if you're interested, uh, stick around. You might not even be able to see it correctly. Let's see. There you go. It is a dream catcher. And maybe there is better. Okay. So if you're interested, stick around. It is a 30 minute long video, but you always have that option of fast forwarding with that little cog down below. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Enjoy. Hi creative birdies. How are you guys doing today? Let's see. I see shadowing. There we go. It's a little better. So. I have a little project that I'm doing that I wanted to do for Christmas but decided not to. It's this one here. I decided to do it for my car and I know my chair is squeaky. I haven't fixed that yet. But what I want to do is use some boho inspired colors um, and create this design or actually use what comes in it which is basically the shape um, the wire that's in here that's already soldered and everything but I'm not going to use the, the pearls and beads it comes with. I'm going to put those aside because I want it to my thought, I want it to be boho and I don't want to put it away for Christmas and I also want to put it in my car so let's put these aside so I could put them away later. Actually I could have kept them in the bag I'm not thinking I'm out of practice. This is my first video for 2018. I'll go put those away later. But I love this, um, the design of the wire. It looks like a snowflake, but at the same time I'm thinking maybe I can make it look like a dream catcher after we're done. Give me a second. I'm also having problems with my ears. Um, I sound muffled to myself, so I'm sorry if I sound a little off. That's the only reason. Okay, so it's a wire beading kit by Hobbycraft. This was sent over from Pop from the UK um, in one of my gift mails that she sent me. So my thought, if I didn't explain correctly, is to make it look like a dream catcher and to put some oil on these lava scent, lava rocks. So we'll put that aside. I have my little pad there and I maybe we'll turn it into a dream catcher so I have this here on the side. So yeah, let's do this. And the way I'm going to top them off, I'm hoping, is with these. But if not, we'll figure it out. I have a few beads that I just randomly picked out of my stash that I have of beads. These I'm going to keep on this side. So, let's put some... Okay, I see what I'm going to have to do. Um, I can maybe work on three at the same time. Okay, the beads are going to have to be the smaller beads for the middle. Alright, so I have some clear. I wanted some lavender beads, the color lavender. That is one color I don't have. Well, probably don't have a few, but I never noticed that I didn't have lavender until I wanted to use a lavender colored bead. Because that for me would top all of the boho looking colors. It looks like this middle wire is a thick, is thicker than all the rest of the wires, so hopefully I can find a bead that'll fit it. There we go. So it looks like I can probably manage to work on three or four. Four. I don't know if I want to keep a pattern 
I just mix them up. Yeah, I kind of want to mix up colors. Do I? I'm not sure. I kept them in the tin to try to keep them from rolling around, but that's not going to happen. Yeah, let's mix them up. Let them be whatever they want to be. So I'm going to take these off and mix colors in there. There we go. That makes me much more happier. Yep. So I'm just going to grab a handful or fingers full. Whatever comes out is what's going to be on here. Yep, I like that more. And then I have these here. How was your guys' New Year's? What did you guys do? What did I do? Oh, we just sat around um, with the dogs because they were so scared of the fireworks. So we didn't leave the house. We had somewhere to go, but we didn't. We decided not to go. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Just so that the dogs wouldn't be all freaked out. They're inside dogs. There's two dogs. And they would be safe being here at home, but I would hate for them to be so scared and home alone. I know that I wouldn't do it to my kids, so I don't want to do that to my animals. Yeah, I like the way this looks. I don't like the, um, I don't like, I wouldn't want it to be all matchy-matchy. Okay. My thought is to add these lava stones to the tips to keep one to keep the beads from rolling out and two to add some um, essence that I got in Happy Mill. Might have to remove a bead or two. Yeah. Let's put a smaller bead in there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so all I'm going to do is add some glue, but before opening the E6000, because we all know that stuff goes nuts, I should check to make sure. Okay, that one needs a little bead. And the little bead is just to give me a little more space. Oops. So that the metal's not poking out. So yeah, this is just something I wanted to come and share with you guys, what I'm doing. Plus I miss you guys. And I wanted to know what you guys have been up to. So I'm not sure if the bead's going to stick right away or if I'm going to have to stop the camera and come back. Because we won't add essence until they're nice and stuck. So this is going to hang on the review mirror. Alright, push that down. So we have those three. I'm not sure if I flip it, if it's just going to come right off. We can try, it's not going to hurt. Yeah, we'll be fine, maybe. We'll see. So let's start filling the other ones. Okay. 
And again, I'm just letting them roll on. And I'll probably need a little spacer or a few, we'll see, to put the lava rock. Now these lava rocks are meant to hold oils. See, I don't like the tip showing that much. I might need a bigger spacer bead there. It's still showing a bit. So I'll put a tiny one. If I can get a tiny one on there. There we go. And then a random bead. There we go, I like that. If you stay till the end, you'll see how I attempt. This is my first time working on something like this. It'll be the at the end you'll see my attempt on um, trying to turn it into a dream catcher. Oh, that bead's falling off. Hang on, don't fall off completely. Yeah, you did. Okay. So it seems like I'm pushing my luck. So I will come back after these dry and then we'll work on those. So be, even though it's going to be an instant for you, it might be an hour for me in order for that to dry. So I'll see you guys in a little bit, or in an hour. <sighs> Hi guys, how are you? And we're on to part two. And I know you see a difference. I ended up finishing it off, um, off camera, because it took, what, about 24 hours or a little bit more actually to dry. And um, even then, I was still able to pull them off um, even though I did use the E6000 and so I had to re-glue them all so that's what we have now and that's fine you guys already seen me how I did the first four so I didn't think that the, you would mind that I would carry on off camera but this part I did want to share with you guys so I'm getting my Dovecraft. Um, I'm assuming they're the same thing as scribbles, but I don't know. I, I'm not experienced in scribbles. And I'm just dotting the ends. Just for that extra bling and to cover up the hole that's on top. And they're all done. Okay, so now what I want to do is let that dry. It shouldn't take too long. And then, actually, you know what we can do together is, I'm in my mind, I, I could see myself creating a dream catcher. Although I know dream catchers are not made in this way, I'm thinking that we'll be okay that I can actually get somewhat of a dream catcher look to this piece here that is supposed to look, look like um, I'm thinking of a snow, maybe it looks like a snowflake, I'm not sure it's just an ornament to make but anyways, in my mind I, I want it to look like a dream catcher now that's just in my thoughts Will it? I don't know. I don't know. Now I know there's a few of you out there saying, gosh, couldn't you have unwinded that off camera, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I could have. I really could have, but I'm not going to. Um... 
um, do that off camera because I didn't think this was going to happen. Okay, we're almost done. Really? Come on. All right. Now, if it, yeah, it's becoming a big knot. I'm going to have to come back when I get this knot undone because it's becoming worse and worse and worse. You guys know how that goes. I'll be back. Alright, I was able to get it all undone. How much of this I'm going to be able to, how am I going to accomplish this? I don't know. No clue. But what I'm just going to go as I do with everything that I do on my channel is figure it out while I'm on the journey of making it. If that makes any sense, I don't know. So I'm just going in between. Now I'm I'm assuming you can pick up these kits at any um, craft store. I'm just gonna make a knot, and I'm not gonna double it yet. I'm gonna leave that hanging just in case we need to take it off. All right, so I'm going to begin my faux weaving. I'm tempted to snip that part off just because it's going to get on my nerves. So let's do that. We can always just glue it in. All right, in my mind, this is going to work. I'm just going to weave back and forth. Just like that. Out the back, into the front, out the back, into the front. All right. Did I get accomplish one? Yes, one round. I'm going to try to go up some. Now because every bead is a different size, let's see if I can do this. looks like I'm going to be able to. This is going to be pretty. Wait, this one went down wrong. I know that I'm not pronouncing my words all the way, but that's what happens when I start filming. There we go. It's working. So far, so good. I think what I'm going to need to do is... Trying to see if I'm on camera. Yes. Eventually, the further we go, I think I'm going to have to kind of double it like that. Yeah, so it won't undo itself. It feels like it's going to pop off right here. But we'll see. I'm 
You see how loose that is? I seriously feel like it's going to pop off, but we, I'm going to give it a chance. I still have um, muffled ear. It's been, um, I got it Friday night, s Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's been seven days of muffled ear. It's a lot better. It really is. But I still have muffled ear. Now, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I have ear problems. I have brew it in my ear and uh, they don't seem to give me any, the doctors don't seem to give me any solution to it. Now, I don't know about you guys but I'm loving what I'm seeing here. Did exactly what I wanted it to do. That's super cool. And I think it's done. Did I double? 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 Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Now to finish it off. Always oh, keeping my scissors off of my desk or, or over to my left because I would hate for honey to jump off and get hurt. Okay, I'm just tying a knot in there. Hmm. Well, that was no knot secret. Let's see. So I'm thinking that um, my ear should be better in a few more days. Not the brewet, but the actual muffled sound. There we go. Okay, I think we got a, knot, a good knot. I'm happy with it. I love it. Now, I think I want to hang some feathers chain and feathers from it. I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to wrap this back up. And now we can put our essence. Is that what it's called? It sounds wrong to me right now. Uh, black coconut oil. And I have a nice clean distilled pipette here. I doubt I need that much, but I, I would like a lot of scent because I am going to hang it in my car. And as I mentioned to you guys, these are lava rocks and they're meant to absorb any oil. So 
So let's see. Yeah, it's going in. It definitely is going in. I didn't want to use a carrier oil. I wanted just the straight oil because since I'm going to put this in my car, when it heats up in my car, I want the oil to activate. I want it to be very concentrate. And if it goes into the string, that's fine too. Might even put some in the string. It's a beautiful smell. If you like coconuts, you'll like the smell. Am I on frame? Yes. It's it's tough. I don't have a I'm not I don't have obviously you could tell. Uh, a cameraman. So I know a lot of people get frustrated and with um, some of my videos, but I don't have a cameraman. It's just it's just me. But what I did learn is blocking words. Certain words I I have blocked on my channel now, like the the B word, the F word boring or waste of time, those are blocked. And I have a load of people blocked. I am now the no tolerance to bullying and um, or um, what's it called? No tolerance to um, oh, there went my computer low tolerance or no tolerance to, uh, what is it called? It's not creative, um, what is it called what people say? Creative suggestions or something like that? Those I'm fine with, but I'm not fine with somebody calling me lazy or loser or other things like that. So those things are blocked and a few of those people that have are blocked. Every single one I catch, I block them. And delete their comments. Alright. I think we are very concentrated with our oil here. I might put something in the middle. I'm not sure if I'll find something. But I love it. I love it. And then I'll update you guys. As a matter of fact, a few of you guys wanted an update on um, the heart that I didn't take off. Let's see of the tape. And if you haven't watched that video, you can go back into my playlist or just find it here on the search bar. Um, let's see. So basically you would go to click on my name and then you'll see home video playlist community channel recording about and Channelytics, and then there's a little search um, tool there, and you can search um, straight to my heart, I think it's called. But anyways, by request, somebody asked me to uh, take this off of the tape, so I'm going to do that. Might need another layer. I need to bring it towards me so that I can see what I'm doing. There we go. I have oil on my hands too, so. 
Oh, it's not that easy. And then, as I showed in the other video, you just go ahead and clip all that away. And now that I've taken it off the tape, it's going to continue curing back there. And then you'll have the hearts like the other one that I've shown you. So yeah, click around, you'll see that video. Um, and thanks for joining me. And if I decide to hang anything from this dream catcher, I will. And I'm sure that I can add another yarn and make it look different. But I actually like this one. It looks looks cool to me. It's going to do its job. Alrighty, so um, thanks, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.